Okay, so we're at the Watson Studio launch page on IBM Cloud. So I'm going to launch into Watson Studio and I'm going to create a project for our drug demo. I'm going to create an empty project and give this an appropriate name. So now I've got our new project. I'm going to click on the uh, Add to Project button there at the top and add an auto AI experiment. And I give the experiment uh, a name. Um, but I've got this problem where I have to associate the uh, auto AI service with a machine learning service. So I'll provide a name here and I'll go and make the association. I'll click on this link and I can select from the various Watson services I have and it's this machine learning service here down at the bottom and I'll click on associate service and go back into the other window click reload and the auto AI experiment will now be associated with my Watson ML service. I click create now going to add some data um, that the auto AI, AI experiment is going to use to train the models and if you've cloned the uh, github repo uh, you'll have access to this uh, drug demo directory and it's in the uh, data directory I think that's it and yeah drug v2 combined and again in the git repo I explain how this file was created So that's now loaded up. Um, Auto AI is going to ask us what we actually want to predict. So it's going to look at the columns um, in the in the data, and the column that we want to be predicting is the the drug column. And it realizes that this is a multi-class classification problem, and it's given me the option to um, change some settings. So here's the um, split of training data and test data. Um, that's all good. I'm just going to leave that as default, but I'm going to change some of the prediction settings. Um, so it's multi-class classification, um, but I don't want it to try all the algorithms. Um, I'm just going to remove a few of these so the experiment runs a bit faster. So I'll take that one off. Um, that one. Don't need that. Ah. Oh, that'll do. So. I'll save those settings. And click on run experiment. And now the uh, auto AI service is, is preparing to um, set up the service. And I've um, cut some of this out. You can see that we've, we've jumped over to the elapsed time of two minutes already. It's taken a little time to warm up. Then it tries the different um, algorithms, different optimization settings, um, and different enhancements. <clears throat> but in this case, this runs for about six, seven minutes, um, and then it, you can see the ranking of the different um, algorithms in terms of uh, accuracy. So, rank number one is this XGB uh, classifier, and I'm going to save that as a model. I'll trim the name uh, just to make it a little bit uh, shorter. So this is our drug auto AI P3 XGB. So explains a little bit behind what's in the model. Um, and that's now being saved. <coughs> that's now saved um, back up in the in the project. So if I jump over to the project, um, we can see that's the model. If I go back up to the, the um, project itself, we can see that as just one of the entries um, down below in models. Before I can deploy the model, I need to create a deployment space. So if I come up to the top left of the screen where it says IBM Cloud Pack for Data, I'm coming out of the project and I can create a deployment. Uh, drug deployment space. And uh, again, I'll have to associate this with my uh, storage and machine learning service. Uh, and click on Create. And again, I've sped this up a little bit and this is our new deployment space for our uh, deployment models. There's, there's nothing in here at the moment. So if I go back into our uh, project, 
which was called uh, Drug Demo. And go back down to the, uh, we'll go to the assets and then scroll down to the, the models. Here we can see there's the model that we created out of Auto AI and I'm going to click uh, Promote and push that up to my newly created deployment space. I click Promote and we should see a pop-up um, saying it's been deployed. So if I jump back over to that deployment space using the shortcut, we can now see the uh, the model is there ready. Um, now it's not ready for execution, so I'm going to click on this deploy button and I'll say it's, it's an online model and I'll give it a name. Um, I'll use the actual name of the asset as the deployment name, so drug auto AI P3 XGB. I'll paste that in there and click create. We've now got an executable um, model out of Auto AI. Um, so if I click on that now uh, to deployments, that's currently deploying. Again, I'll speed this up a little bit uh, in the final video. Um, so this should shortly show complete and it's deployed. Now if I click on that We can see the API endpoint to invoke the model and various code snippets, but I'm going to click on the test tab. I'm going to provide the various parameters for our patient. Um, so someone who's 44, male, low blood pressure and a BMI of 25. Click predict and the model will provide us with a prediction based on the algorithm, uh, which in this case is drug E. So to recap, we've launched Watson Studio created a project and in that project we've created an auto AI experiment. We've loaded our patient and drug data into the auto AI and asked it to use the provided data to train an ML model that could predict the drug given the other parameters like age, gender, blood pressure and BMI. We let auto AI try different algorithms but we picked the most accurate and saved that as a model in our project. Next we created a deployment space for our drug predictive model and promoted the model up into that deployment space. Then we deployed it and then we tested it. Now the model is deployed, we're ready to connect ADS to the deployment space and it will allow us to integrate the model with our decision service. For more information on this and other aspects of the demo, use the link in the description for the GitHub repo.